Iris takes Madsie. She snatches. No, she doesn't. Mad. I. <sighs> oh. Idiot. Hey guys, so I just watched season 3 episode 11 of Shadow on Dice and I'm here to give y'all my little review. I will have a link to my reaction in the description box. I can't post it on here because if I do Freeform and Netflix block it. So I'm going to try to find a way to upload it elsewhere to where it won't get taken down. So go check that out. Um, you can watch the review after or before or whenever you like to. Before we head into today's reaction, I actually have something very exciting. Today's video is sponsored by Shadowhunters Amino. So if you don't know what Shadowhunters Amino is, Shadowhunters Amino is a app where you can connect with all types of Shadowhunters fans all around the world. Shadowhunters Amino has every type of feature you need in a social media app. It has polls, quizzes, wiki entries, normal posts, and so much more. You can also see what members are online right right now and see what everyone is up to. Another great feature about this app is that there is a bunch of chat rooms ready to be chatted away in. So anytime there is a new episode and you want to chat about it, Shadow and Zumino got covered with a bunch of chat rooms and everyone is really nice in them. So I would definitely go check out some of the chat rooms. So if you want, you can go follow me on there at T -ka Level. I will be active right when this video goes live. So come hang out with me on the Shadow and Zumino app. There will be a link in the description for a download for iOS or Android and also a link to follow me. So thank you so much Amino for sponsoring today's video. Y'all are the best and without further ado, let's get into the reaction. Bruh, where are my airpods at? Bruh, how am I supposed to flex? Ow. Bruh, where the pods go? Where the pods at? Found it. There are my airpods. Um, what the fuck? How did I put my AirPods in and they fucking say I'm out of battery? Oh, cause my case is dead. Okay, so we're not gonna be using my AirPods today. Sorry guys, the sound on this is gonna be like absolute trash. Like it's literally gonna be like coming out of Satan's butthole. This episode was so pleasing to me as like a first episode of like the second half of the season taking off from the last season right after like maybe like an hour after like 30 minutes even I thought it was really strong I really like where the story is heading I was kind of worried about what they were gonna do I didn't know what kind of story they were gonna go for you know even from the trailers I was kind of like where are they going with it and I'm really pleased to see where they're heading and where they're taking these different plots I really liked the simplicity of this episode I think that it wasn't too crazy like going on like it had a very like basic vibe to it but it was a nice foundation to start the whole season off I'm gonna go through plots like I usually do I usually go through like each plot of the episode so we'll start off with Clary oh. Yay. Clary is stuck with Jonathan in the little Siberia house that they're in. Um, Lilith basically like transported, transported them, them to Siberia in the little apartment. That's what happened after the explosion. So she didn't die. She just got like transported. She took a little like trip to Siberia. I kind of like where they're going with Jonathan. It's not too over the top villainy sort of. It's a very mix of emotions from him which is what I wanted from Jonathan. Jonathan's supposed to be a very... he doesn't see himself as the villain. That's the whole point of Jonathan is that he doesn't really see himself as the villain and he definitely he thinks he's doing this for the good of his own and he doesn't come off super mean from the beginning. That's the great part about Sebastian. What The way it goes villain wise is that it's not I want to take over the world, I want to do this. It's he, All he wants is to be with Clary which is like incesty and gross but like it adds a lot to his villain arc which I personally enjoy because I love a good villain though and it's a nice switch up from Lilith last season which Lilith was very like like I want my son back they had him in this episode very caring towards Clary and you could like see that it wasn't just like a weird like oh like I, I you know I need something from you so I want to keep you alive he genuinely cares about her because he is her brother and as a villain I'm excited to see where his path goes I like Clary in this because I feel like she's a little bit more quiet with her mouth 
I don't know, she took it down a notch and I think it adds to her character and it kind of shows how she's changed during the season. So in the very beginning, she's very like, I'm small but feisty, you know? And then over time, you know, after all this stuff happens, she kind of takes it back and you can see how much darker she's gotten throughout the seasons after everything that's happened to her. So it's gonna be a cool shift in this season to see where her character takes a turn, which is exciting. Them two, they are linked, linked siblings, which is a change in the book. Jonathan and Jace were linked. This time it's Clary and Jonathan, which I think makes so much more sense because they are actually siblings. That is like, a great change they made that I think just as like you're watching the story it just makes a lot more fucking sense to be honest like it just is like okay like yeah like they're siblings like so that's pretty much all that happened for them it was just kind of like her falling down a mountain and then her stabbing him with a rusty knife but also stabbing herself with a rusty knife and then them realizing like oh my god we are connected that is insane yeah. Moving on to the whole Simon, Maya, Izzy thing happening. Ew, ew, ew. I hate it. Why I hate it? <sighs> because I don't like the whole guilt tripping of Maya. Do you see what I'm doing with my hands? That's how angry I am about that whole thing, you know? I don't like it that these characters are guilt tripping Maya for leaving for her own good after going through like traumatizing things I don't think it's okay but it's like both of them made her feel so bad that she was like I gotta do all this stuff to make it up to them it's like no you don't have to do that like you didn't do anything wrong by taking time for yourself girly you know <laughs> and then Simon and Maya go and visit Raphael in a soup kitchen and he tells them hey go take a visit to an old vampire that whole thing was underwhelming very plain Let's talk about Jace. Okay, let's talk about Jace because that is like a big thing that happened. As we know, Jace went through it last season. He had a lot of stuff going on with him. The whole owl thing, killing a lot of people, which like does something to your brain. He's feeling very self-destructive. I don't like that he's being self-destructive, but I like where they're heading with his storyline. To be honest, I was pleased with Jace in this episode. I liked what they did with his storyline and yeah, I thought it was good. I thought it was interesting. I wasn't annoyed. And that's always good when you know a storyline where I'm not annoyed by Jace. I I may not like Dom, but I can appreciate a good little plot in the story. <laughs> Moving on to the last, I think that's the yes, this is the last like round of plots we're going through, and that's pretty much the Malik thing that happened. And okay, Malik was actually like a conjoined storyline. This they didn't have separate storylines in this one. So Iris takes Madsy, she snatches- no, she doesn't. Mad- I- <sighs> Ooh! Idiot! Nana Iris tries to take Madsy and Uncle Malik says no, no, no. <laughs> they say no and Alec does his like- <laughs> You know, <laughs> and then they're like, we gotta stop her. And then they go and then Magnus gets taken and it's just, oh my God, like. That is rough. When it got revealed that he didn't have any like magic anymore and no immortality, like saw that coming. <laughs> or like imagine that like they would ever do that. Like I don't think we have ever imagined in a million years that the Shadow Hunter writers would be that bold to do that shit to us. Like I don't think any of us thought that, but like they did that. It is so interesting. I know. It, it hurts me too, y'all. I know it is just the hardest to deal with him, you know, losing his powers. I think it adds a really cool layer to Magnus's storyline because through season two, I think we had a lot shown of Magnus. So I think they wanted to add something to really mix it up. <laughs> like really throw us off our game and like start it up, you know? <laughs> so I loved that in this episode. I loved seeing Alec and Magnus's, you know, little little chemistry in this episode. Harry and Matt always do a great job when it comes to that. It still had that vibe of like a couple that's been together, but then it also had some flirtatious vibes to it and also had some serious moments to it. I think that adds a lot to how they've grown as a couple. 
development, you know, growth, development. I love that shit, you know? I kind of went through all the plots that happened in this episode. I thought it was really cohesive episode. I thought it really flowed well together. I thought it, re it kept me really interested throughout the entire thing. Is it the best Shadowhunters episode I've ever seen? No. Is it one of the best premieres I've seen? Yes, I thought it had a very strong plot to it. Very interesting, very entertaining. I think if you didn't watch any Shadow Hunters and you watched this episode, I think you'd be very entertained because it had so much going. <laughs> Sounds like I'm about to cry. It had so much going on to it. I'm excited. I think it's gonna. This really wasn't even a review. This is more like a recap, but. Anyways. This is what this is what you get. I really wish I could post the reactions on here, but I can't. So um, make sure you guys go give the reaction a watch. The link will be in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts on this episode of Shadow Wonders in the comment section down below. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Did you think it was all right? Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Level. And subscribe for more videos from me. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.